shortly after uh, you winning the title, it was going through the wrestling rumor mill that you had asked for your Impact Wrestling release. Um, is there any reason in particular that you asked for your release other than possibly that tunnel vision you've been talking about about WWE? No, at this point, WWE isn't on my radar anymore. Um, I mean, that was just a personal decision. I am someone who wants to set new goals and accomplish new new things, and um, I felt that I had kind of ran my course in impact at this time. You know, not saying that I would never go back because I love the locker room and, and um, the friends that I've made there and everything. But, you know, you need to, you need to at this point, point in my life, I need to keep taking a step up the ladder uh, and, and kind of um, expanding my horizons and things like that. So, you know, the next step was to go back out onto the indies and um, and kind of build my self-confidence as a wrestler and my grow my name and things like that. And I'm really happy with my decision. Um, although, of course, I miss the actual going to tapings and I miss my friends and everything. Like, uh, that I still see those girls all the time, and we have social media. I see everything that's going on with Impact. I, I watch it every Thursday, so there's definitely no hard feelings there. And you recently uh, debuted in Lucha Underground. Um, what are your thoughts on Lucha Underground and uh, working with them now? Um, I don't work with them. I, I didn't debut or anything. I just had um, I just had a dark match, so like a tryout match. It was a lot of fun. Um, of course, my friend um, Taya Valkyrie, she is the one that kind of hooked me up with that, so I'm forever, forever grateful um, for that experience. And just being able to shake new hands and introduce myself and, again, expand my horizons to something different. It was such a cool experience. 